Okay, we're now going to look at converting percentages to fractions. So to convert per uh, percentages to fractions, let's have a look at an example. Uh, let's just say I had 34%, and I wanted to change that into a fraction. Well, the first thing you need to consider is that the percent means out of 100. This means 34 out of every 100. So what you do is just write that down. 34 out of 100, 34 over 100, like that. So that means that's 34 over 100. So 34% is 34 over 100. Now, you need to cancel that down. So you can see both of these numbers here, 34 and 100 are both divisible by 2. So you can divide both of them by 2. Well, dividing 34 by 2 is 17, and dividing 50 by, or 100 by 2 is 50. So we've cancelled it down to get 17 over 50. Now, if 17 and 50 uh, have no common factors, there's nothing that you can divide both of those by. So, apart from 1, but obviously that's just going to give you 17 and 50 again. Uh, so, that means we've done it. 34% is 17 50ths, 17 over 50. Let's look at another example. Let's look at 28% uh, this time. Well, 28% would be 28 over 100. Divide both of them by 2, you get 14 over 50. Uh, divide them both by 2 again, and you get 7 over 25. And this time you can't divide them by anything, so that's that's it, uh, 17 over 25. Uh, at this point, you could have divided them both by 4. Uh, 28 and 100 are both divisible by 4, so 28 divided by 4 is 7, and 50 divided or 100 divided by 4 is 25. So uh, sometimes you can divide it by, uh, you try to divide it by the largest possible number, but if it's even, I just tend to half it sometimes, just quickly. Uh, let's have a look at another example, 60%. Uh, well, 60% 60 is 60 over 100. As I said, I could divide these by 2 and half at the both even, but as you see, they both end in a 0. That means they're both divisible by 10. So let's divide both of them by 10. So uh, 60 divided by 10 is 6, and 100 divided by 10 is 10. Now, I'm not finished yet, because you can actually divide these both by 2. So half of 6 is 3, and half of uh, 10 is 5. As you see, then your answer is 3 fifths. Now you probably should know that 60% is 3 fifths, but if you don't, you can just write, you know, follow the method, write it over 100, 60 over 100, and divide it down. You could have divided it by 20 at this point. 60 divided by 20 is 3, and 100 divided by 20 is 5. I just find it as easy to divide it by 10 and then half of it. Uh, let's look at one final example. Uh, let's have a look at 82%. Uh, 82%, to write that as a fraction, you write 82 over 100. See what they're divisible by? Well, they're both divisible by 2, so you get 41 over 50. And then 41 and 50, they don't have any common factors, so that's it. 82% is 41 over 50. Now, what I'm now going to do is show you how to do that using your calculator.